very quickly becoming the most inspirational tank I've, I've seen. That's awesome. I it's, appreciate you saying it's, that. It's, it's easily equal to, to public aquariums by, by any, if not more. Hey everyone, Polo Reef here with you. So today I want to walk you through not just the show and the corals and vendors that are there, but you know, I love how this video started because it shows you how many people are inspired by this channel and we're just looking to grow the channel and get more people's eyes on some of the amazing things we're doing here at Polo Reef. The first thing I'll start you off with is when I got to the show, I saw this amazing display tank by Reef Creation out of Buffalo, New York. You could tell that these were truly aquacultured corals because they were just puddling over the discs that they had them in. Randy was absolutely amazing. I called Andrew. He loved the corals. He was actually on his way to the airport <laughs> for his vacation in Europe. Uh, we worked out a deal and uh, I grabbed those corals late on Sunday. Um, as usual, a lot of the, the amazing vendors were there um, with some new equipment obviously amazing uh, corals and colors and what I wanted to convey during this uh, short YouTube video is the connections that you make when you go to these shows um, they're absolutely amazing so if you guys can go if unfortunately you're not close to one of the locations just see if you can make it out they usually have them for a year I think it starts off in Orlando New York Chicago and they end in Dallas uh, you get a chance to meet uh, and maybe you just saw on the left there Julian sprung with his amazing mangrove trees which we picked up four uh, of for the clam tank Ryan from BRS did a presentation and you know you, you get a chance not to just buy some of these uh, live animals and equipment and rocks and things of that sort but you get a chance to connect with people that you haven't seen face to face for some time so I'm going to start you guys off with a quick conversation I had with my good friend here, Mark, who's also a local vendor that I actually bought my uh, Tropic Marine Salt from. So he'll tell you a little bit about his business and what's going on with him. Hey, my buddy Rashid. What's up, buddy? Welcome to Reef Palooza. Uh, yeah. We're out of Freeport, New York. Um, the trailer is based there. We're, we do service, installations, um, everything. We, um, we come to the trade show. We have all products, Ecotech, Neptune, Hannah. Can you give you a tour of the trailer? Sure. Yeah. This is where you keep oh, all the tools, that. PVC parts on top. Love the training show, we put the products on the shelves instead of PVC parts. It's a bit messy right now. Nice. That's how we keep all our, uh, our parts for the you also, show. You also do um, coral shows when you can? We do trade shows when we can. Yep. We, love, uh, we love getting out and seeing our customers. Our website, dynamictank.com, we do a lot of ship outs. Uh, I was following, I would say, about four months before you really started adding the coral in. And it, 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 it turned into just like such an, an impressive system in the last few months. Awesome. And, you know, I, I, at first, it, until I realized your tank was about four years old, I was like, I can't believe how, these, how you're growing coral like that. And then it kind of, kind of set in. But you're, you're very quickly becoming the most inspirational tank I've, I've seen. That's awesome. I it's, appreciate you saying it, that. It's, it's easily equal to, to public aquariums by, by any, if not more. I mean, it's, it's... And wait till the 2500 is up. Yeah, and you guys... I think that's going to be more of an inspiration from a coral standpoint. Exactly, exactly. No, I love I love what you're doing now with the smaller tanks, and you're really, like, focusing on the coral more and more. Okay. Because um, in the big tank, you just you can't even... It's so big, you can't even focus on a single coral. And then uh, you got the angelfish and everything, so you got you got to limit it on it. And, and it's really... No, I'm just so impressed by your channel. What would you like us to uh, continue to do or change about the channel? We're always looking I really, for feedback. I'm in, I mean... It, it's still a new channel that I've kind of come across, so I'm just like enjoying you guys growing right now. But just, I mean, getting getting more involved and and being like personal, especially with like Andrew, like you know, recording the videos and everything, and, right. and just like just seeing the whole process behind it, like just seeing how you put it together is what I'm really most interested in. I think a lot of people, because it's just, I mean, we want to we want to follow in the footsteps and grow coral like that as well. So. Well, here's what I'm gonna tell you: subscribe to the channel. Mm -hmm. Share it with your friends because we're about to get some serious giveaways. Because mm -hmm. uh, we want to make sure we're giving back. We're giving uh, back from a uh, 
community standpoint for high schools who have uh, marine biology programs. I saw that your favorite uh, uh, coral restoration foundation. That you're so once the website is up, people will understand a little more about Andrew Sandler's mission. Mm -hmm. But just stay tuned because we want to also make sure we get back to reefers like you. So you guys are doing great things for the hobby. Yeah, really. It's a chance to win some stuff. No, it's it's awesome. You get, you're providing a lot of inspiration. For Thank sure. you so much. Thank man. you. So guys, one thing I definitely want to mention is that short clip that we just witnessed is exactly what this channel is all about, inspiring our reefers. What new things are coming up? Yeah. Not really. What's up guys, we got Dirk here, he's a stable in all the reefer Palooza shows. I've never went to a show without buying something, by the way. Thank you. It's almost like I have to get something. Well, you should. So today, look what I got today. This is the first time I've seen one of these. Two little times, four so, feet long. Believe it or not, those are going to be used in a 2,500 gallon tank, Andrew, wow. Andrew Sandler's tank. Can you tell us a little bit about your company and what you do really quick? From Red Wing, Minnesota, I have a little bit of everything. We got saws, we got grabbers, tweezers, we got big ass buckets, big small ass buckets. gallons. Exactly. How's it going? I met Alex, was it like four years ago? No. Five? No. Even longer, huh? Maybe. 10 years ago. 10 years ago? Yeah, I, I moved to England in 2014 and now we're at 2022, so it was before that. So it was about 10 years so ago. So I met you at House of Fins yep. when I was slinging frags. That's right. Trying to squeeze you for all the <laughs> credit that I can just because your price points <laughs> were, were, were uh, interesting. But I sold you guys a lot of corals. Uh, I love I, I love the fact that you went down to Worldwide Coral, yeah. one, of the, one of the better vendors out there and I think you've helped them progress in such a such a big way. How's your experience been there? Been been like there? And what are your thoughts on the reefing hobby in general? Well, I love it. Okay. You know, I wouldn't take anything back. I love worldwide corals. I love Florida. You know, uh, worldwide corals is a very family-oriented company. And part of my interview process was, you know, the owners telling me, "Hey, we are a family. We, you know, we treat each other as such." And that really touched me. Yes. Yeah. To know, make a big move from New York to, to Florida. Yeah. Was, 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 was a big thing to do, so... Definitely. You jumped in, you think it worked out? I know it worked out. Oh, he's know. still there, guys. He has to say that. No, yeah, I'm kidding. No, I'm super happy. Super no, no, happy. No. Wouldn't change anything for the world. Great company to work for. Great people to work with, so... I love it. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow you around because you've already showed us an amazing uh, tank where we bought all the corals for Andrew Sandler. Okay? And now you're going to show us some... Other corals that we need to take a look at. Yeah. So let's walk and let's check this thing out. Let's see this euphelia. One in particular that caught my eye. What do you want to show us? The Holy Grail first? Or Holy, the, uh... I think the Holy Grail because it's coming up right okay. here. Hopefully it's still there. Yeah, hopefully. Good Things job. are going fast. This is, from my, is from, from my boy Joe. You know Joe. You know Joe. Yeah. That one right there. There it is. There we, it is. We literally just saw that three days ago. Where? It's you see. Okay. And what's this place? So what happened? All right, we'll see you again. It's your holy grail that we recently saw. I know. But we got to see this holy grail again. This one here? I'll do that for five. Well, what you got here, Joe? Joe, talk to us about uh, the Holy Grail. Got, uh, Holy Grails. Can you pick it up and show us the size of this? It's one hand. Uh, I don't think people can really fathom it. So I'm not even sure if people are going to believe it. This is the biggest one head you'll ever see. That's amazing. Sorry. One head. One head. One mouth. One mouth. <laughs> That's a big mouth. Uh, All right. We'll have to take another look at that. Yeah, you want to tell us a little bit about your uh, your shop over here? Uh, here, here. Come on, you're the man. You're the man of the hour. You're like all over social media and the internet. You're on Reef Bomb. You got to give us a second or two. This is my buddy JC. What's up, everyone? All right, he's going to tell you a little bit about his company, Jellyfish Art, along with uh, Chemi Pure. And Deltec, of course. Let's not forget the, uh, the one and only. 
So, uh, Jay, tell us about what you got going on here. Yeah, definitely. So I run Jellyfish Arts, and Jellyfish Arts is a really cool company because it's made keeping pet jellyfish at home a reality. Before, it was only things for public aquariums. They were difficult to take care of because you need a special aquarium that is specifically designed for jellyfish care. Uh, the beauty of it is that these kits are all-inclusive. It brings absolutely everything you need to get it started up. It brings the aquarium pumps, lighting system, accessories, and supplies, and they also include three sustainably aquaculture moon jellyfish that we breed in our facility in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We breed these jellyfish, we have them around year round. Uh, we have thousands of jellyfish on hand at any given time. They go to the small desktop aquariums and they also go to huge custom aquariums that we build throughout the United States. Uh, we have a beautiful 2,000 gallon jellyfish aquarium in Fort Lauderdale Beach. At the hotel. Show me some there? I'll show you what that looks like. This bad boy is 14 years old, running beautifully. 2,000 gallons, spectacular. That's awesome. Right in the middle of the restaurant, you can see right through it. It's the focal point of that restaurant, as a matter nice. of fact. So these tanks are very easy to take care of. You give it a cycle in the beginning, make sure the water is stable. After that, you add the jellies. Maintenance is straightforward. You don't have to worry about calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, none of that. Do partial water changes weekly just to get rid of the nitrates. And you're going to feed them a dry jelly food, which is powdered by us. Little scoop in the, there. Um, the evaporation is low to nothing. So there, yeah. this goes up. there is actually no evaporation whatsoever. Um, there's very little water movement, so there's no evaporative cooling there. Um, and there's no water pumps. The tanks are actually air pump driven by air lifts, which doesn't warm up the water. Air aerates the water and helps keep that pH elevated so the jellyfish can be happy. Okay, so little or no evaporation. Right. Easy maintenance, just yeah. regular water changes. Yeah. Tell me about temperature. If you have a household that's too yeah. warm or too cold, how do you maintain that? Yeah, so these jellies are pretty tolerant. Moon jellyfish, these are grow anywhere from the Mediterranean all the way to South Florida. Okay. They can tolerate different temperatures. Usually we tell people anywhere between 74 and 68 is a good temperature oh, wow. to be at. It's yeah, it's a big range and you can push in both directions a little bit more. You just want to keep it stable. So if you're having fluctuating temperature, you can put a heater, not so much to keep it warmer, but just to keep it on the stable side. Most people don't have an issue because most homes are kept at a comfortable cool temperature yeah. and that's what these animals like. So talk to us about this miniature one. Do you have a lot of people who put these in their offices? Oh yeah. Home offices? Or? Extremely popular in offices. It's a beautiful conversation piece. So if you have clients coming over, it's something to get the conversation rolling about. And everybody is always intrigued with these aquariums and these beautiful animals. And they're really just mesmerizing. So if you're having a hard day at work, you can just disconnect from the work for it a is, few it minutes. Is cool as hell, man. Yeah, it is. you just meditate and watch them. Look at this. How nice that's coming out of the camera too. You can change the colors, you can pick one specific color if you want with the remote control. Yeah. Or you can put it in different modes where it changes to different colors. That's awesome. So yeah guys, the short clip that you're watching now is actually of the tank in my office slash fish room. Uh, JC was awesome enough to give me one of the display tanks so that they didn't have to ship it back out to Florida. And that was me feeding the jellyfish. Absolutely amazing, highly, highly, highly recommended. And then it comes in a, in a box with a set of branches. Uh, you have different type of branches and, and, and pieces like this, okay? okay? So now this time we decided to make a square thing. Okay. And we have added extra pieces to the, to the base kit, okay? okay? But you have carbon rods in the kit also and you can decide to, to make it a little bit different, to make it a little bit more like this. A little bit higher. So one of my questions was, well, the question I was kind of thinking about is like, see, let's take one of the bigger pieces. Let's take that piece out right there. Yeah. Okay. Can we, if this piece, I only wanted half of it, can you break it? And if you did, is there an, a way to, can you just epoxy it there or do you ruin it by breaking that piece? You keep the, uh, you, you, you can break it. Okay. okay. It's not going to change anything about the properties of the of Okay, the rock, that was obviously. my question right there. It's just going to look ugly if you break it. 
Right, the goal the goal is not to, and the goal is yeah. to get something that fits the space but, you want, but like... But if it doesn't suit you here, you can try to put it somewhere else. I don't, I don't know, maybe, maybe put it here. Right, oh, so that's another good thing, like... Okay. This doesn't all have to be plugged into it. No, because you could put rock on top of rock. Yep. That's awesome. So if you want to change the, you can just play with it. And, uh, so you have to be careful about one thing: is that yeah. the base, if you put too much on one yeah. side, then so you, you need to make yeah. to balance it. Okay? Yeah, that makes sense. So I'm not going to play with taking out these parts here. Right, because then it'll, it'll be front heavy. I, I don't want to have it too heavy in the front, but. Uh, Nice. That's what, 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 is, what does this go for? Like just a range? If someone wants to buy something, let's say half of the size, uh, do you uh, buy the base alone and then you charge by the additional pieces, or how does that work? You you do it as you like. So okay. here, this is one kit plus extra pieces. So this would be the, the okay for all this a thousand dollars. All of this that is on the table. The, okay, let's look at the menu. You have one uh, big kit is 720, then you have one is uh, 420. The 420, what is it? What would the 420 include? It's uh, like this. Okay. I don't know if this one is full. Uh, so you have smaller pieces, you know. Okay. So the base is a bit different, and then you have two models. You have one with the uh, cups where yep. you can put the, the frags in it. Okay. Yeah. And one model with the branch tips. Yeah, exactly. So we can that's put, like, what you have over there. Okay. That's what you have over there. But the two options uh, are Very possible. Nice. You have, uh, so something like this is 420? No, uh, yeah, 400, I think. Yeah, 400 bucks? It. Yeah, something like this. I think I'm going to take one off of you. And how, how have you had Coraline growing on this? Like, no issues, no problem? No problem. You, yeah. You okay. Just, you start your tank, you put the bacteria, you put the corals and so on. With time, the coralline is, co is coming on it. Okay. It's uh, quite efficient. Uh, hey, let's bag one up for me. This one? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Rouge rocks. It's one of the coolest rocks I've ever seen in my entire life. They have holes so you can interchange them, shift them around. If you have a coral that has encrusted on some rock that you maybe want to maybe frag or give away or just rearrange, maybe um, flow has been blocked some by a coral that's grown too much, all you have to do is pop out one of the little branches and rearrange, rearrange the branches and you're good to go. Pop in a new branch. Pat, I came, I came to talk to you, I came to talk to you only. This is, by the way, Andrew's channel. So this is going to go on his Instagram. Okay. I got you when you came to the Liar event. Yes. And I used that clip where you were like... Oh! <laughs> that was like classic. I was like, I'm, was I'm, a, I'm famous, I guess, now, just because I did. So you want, me, you want to tell me something about your line of products? Anything? I use your stuff, I use my... I'm one of the guys that didn't just dose micro back to seven to start my 300 up with already um, used up uh, uh, bricks that I had from my old system and a couple of live rocks, but the XLM, I didn't skip a beat. I didn't have much of an ugly stage. And I'm still dosing micro back to seven uh, yeah, to this point. Fine. But anything we need to think about, look at, focus on, it's so all the same old good stuff, right? Yeah, it's the same stuff. These are brand new if you have low nutrients. Right. Uh, we took out professional strength Neo Nitro and Neo Plus. So okay. this is five times as strong as the regular version, which is right here. Really? Yes, really. Okay. Um, so these, because, uh, you know, if you bottomed out your nutrients, uh, you're dosing a heck of a lot of certainly Neo Nitro. Okay. And this goes a long way because it's professional stuff. Okay. So, yeah. And then ginormous bottle. Of iodine. Who doesn't need iodine? Right. So we took that out. Mostly all of this was um, demand from coral farms. Okay. So, yeah. That's all good stuff. I'll show Recently, Andrew's using moonshiners, and we're getting um, trace elements, and we're we're um, testing ICP weekly to see what happens with that. But for me personally, my my mind, 
Like, should I just continuously do micro vacuum? Yes. Or um, do, do I need to start thinking specifically on what I'm trying to do with the tank? So it's our flagship product. Uh, you can't go wrong with it. Right. Um, if you want to stop and start again two weeks later, nothing. It's it's just our a very safe um, flagship product for the entire lifetime of right. your range. So let me ask you this. I recently had issues with black sponge. Oh. I had it in one of my rocks. I literally, it, it started creeping up and I started killing my recordias and yumas. Oh, so it was I literally the invasive? It was an invasive oh, yeah. one. Yeah, I have that in my tank. Oh my um, God. You can cut it off, but you probably, you may have a lot of silicate. So yeah, yeah. in your RO system, you might right. want to add um, silica remover, a silica like... buster cartridge with okay. a silica remover. And will that it might kill help. them if they don't have enough silicates to eat? Or they, what's the point they, there? They probably will just stop uh, invading. I don't know if it'll kill it because there's still enough. Is there anything the that system. can clean them out? No, uh, we don't make a sponge killer. We actually make a sponge feeder. Yeah, exactly, because you want to... <laughs> there isn't any angel fish or anything that would eat that stuff. It's like it, I think uh, some nudibranchs might, but you don't know what kind feed on what kind of sponges. Okay, got it. Uh, nudibranchs, uh, in general, their diet is some kind of sponge. Just don't know which kind. Okay, got it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. We're nice looking to do again. a lot more outreach on the Andrews Tank. Okay. And his whole channel, so we'll be reaching out if you guys yeah, ever want to do something. Of course. Absolutely. My favorite product. Thank you. Thanks, guys. What was that? Oh, but you could still see her without so less arms. I, I tweaked the, the white balance. We'll have to see how close you were. No, 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 it is. I had to use duct tape. Oh. Because it doesn't oh, screw in there, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Right? Right. You know what I mean, right? You should make it work. So I want to thank everyone for watching this video. And definitely if you watched up to this point, um, I just want to remind everyone that there will be a lot more content out of Polo Reef specifically educational videos we're working on having a weekly live potentially on tuesday at 6 p.m with andrew where we'll have specific guests come or andrew answer all of your q a's about the system about quarantining the fish the corals etc thank you all uh, for joining uh, us and watching this video please uh please like uh, and definitely please subscribe if you haven't and click on that bell so you're notified when we have more videos and definitely feel free to ask any questions within the comments of this video uh, we're pretty good along with andrew in responding to just about everyone thanks again everyone